replacing the lights in the Kia Carnival or Sedona. So to do this is a bit different to what you would be not used to. The idea is you're supposed to take out the actual headlight assembly. So let's get under the bonnet and show you how it's done. So here's the manual. When I was looking to see how or what globe to use for the headlight, I couldn't find it. So we turn the headlight. It's got, you know, bulb replacement from here. Now I'll just flip the pages. If you can spot it, drop a comment below. But I cannot see what kind. It is a H7, but it doesn't say it in here. See, it's got, you know, replacing. This is the one I've replaced, number two. The low beam. That's the picture of it. But just this halogen bulb, nothing. I cannot see anywhere for it to say H7, where the Camry has it. It tells you in the manual. Okay, nice details. You remove this, you do that, you take it out, you get to the from the back, but nothing. To remove the headlight, just a couple of bolts and some plugs to move. You've got a 10 mil down in there, and another 10 mil up here, and recommend you to remove these ones, that one, that one, and that one. Just gives a bit of movement in that plastic. So, the other side's removed, and the idea is it just pops out. Okay, this side's all free, ready to be pulled out. I find it easier to grab it there and pull it back a little bit to the side. Like that. And then you'll be able to slide it out. Just like that. There's a couple of connectors to unplug. One down here for your high beam, low beam parkers. That little tab there, you just got to push down the side out. And one for the blinker. Push down on that tab there and slide that out. Now it's out, we can have a look. So for the blinker, you just twist that, slide that, you get to it. The parkers and high beam there, and low beam here. Unscrew there. And there's a little clip in there. Just got to push down on that. Push and you fill it. Slide to the side, and then it's up and out. And now we're in. And they just slides right off. This is the replacing beam. This is the new one we're going to install and as you can see it says H7. Installation process is the same but because you shouldn't be touching the filaments like this or the glass like this that will destroy the globes much quicker, they will burn out much quicker. So because you don't install the new ones like this, I'm going to install this off camera just so I can properly hold the globe. And there you go, sitting in place ready to be clipped up. If you have a look at the left side, just right of that screw, it's a lug. So these lights do go in only one way. Okay, so now we'll just put down that clip back in place. And that's in. And that's on. And the boot goes back. Okay, that's done. But like I said, you can get to your Parker's high beam and blinker indicator there. And a successful replacement. And high beams work too. Excellent.